Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Whitney and this is what should I be and I am so excited because we are going to be playing with the Dollhouse palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics and we are going to be creating this really pretty rhinestone. I feel like I need to go to a ball. <laughs> I feel like I need to be at an event. Glam. <laughs> If you like this type of video and you like this review, give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button before you leave, and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have grabbed this palette, and we will jump right in. Okay, I got assumed in. I already primed my eye because this is going to take a little while because there's lots of rhinestones involved. So I have used this palette once already in a tutorial on TikTok and I had some trouble with it. I've actually used it a few times but the first few times I used it I couldn't get it to work at all for me. Um, it's pretty patchy. It was really hard to blend which is not the normal. I don't feel like with these palettes because I have the other two and they are phenomenal. One of literally the best palettes that I own. But I'm really having a hard time with this one, so I'm trying to continue to use it to see if I end up liking it any better. I did like it a bit more on this side, but it looks a lot different on camera than it does in person. Um, I do think it looks a bit worse on camera, if we're being honest. So hopefully when I go to edit this, I'll be able to tell that it actually doesn't look this bad because it looks pretty rough when I'm looking at it in the viewfinder right now. But we are going to move on. I'm starting out with Attic, which is this right here, and I'm just going in with an angled Morphe brush. And I'm going to just create the shape that I want with that brush. Okay, now that I have the shape down that I want, I'm going to go in with the M506, same shade, and I'm just going to start blending that out a little bit. Okay, after I have that blended out how I want, I'm going to go in to Rouge. And I'm just going to take that right above where we already blended that shade out. And I'm just going to keep bringing that upward. And I'm not really worrying about what we have going on underneath because we're going to clean all that up again. This is what we have. Now I'm going to go into Baby Doll, which is this just more pastel color. I'm using this same brush because I just really like um, this brush when I'm doing detail work. Tapping some of that off, and then I'm just going to go in and really blend those edges. I feel like when we get to the really light shade, that's when the blending really starts coming together. Okay, now I really made, I feel like this got a little bit ashy from the pastel shade. I think this is why I don't really like this palette. I feel like it just feels a little bit ashy all the time, in my opinion. Like, no matter what I'm doing with it, it just doesn't feel like... 
It just doesn't feel like I can stop it from getting ashy. That's the trouble that I think I'm having with it. But I am just going to go back through really quick and just try to bring some of these other shades back to life and then cut the crease really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, this is what we have so far. I do actually, I like the blend a little bit better on this side. I am going in with Addict again. And I'm just creating the shape that I have on the other side. Running it through the crease and then I'm kind of like winging it out. And I'm keeping that middle part open. Alright, same brush as before, and I'm just blending that out, this time downward. Okay, and that's what we look like. Now I'm going to go in with Rouge, and I'm going to blend that out further. And I'm bringing that all the way on to the lid. I'm leaving very little space on the lid. Because the third shade is really just to make sure everything is blended out. Alright, do you see how I just left a little bit of space on the lid? And then... Going in with Baby Doll, and just really making sure that's blended out. All right, and then I'm back in with Rouge a little bit. It's kind of a back and forth game just to make sure that blend is perfect. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna clean this up a tiny tiny bit and then I'm gonna take porcelain which is just like the bone colored shade in here and I'm gonna set that crease area just where we left it blank okay now that we got that done we get to do the fun part my favorite part the rhinestones I am taking my Kiss Lash Glue and I'm just lining that whole area that we left open with a lash glue. Alright, and now that that is good to go, um, my brush is already tacky for the most part. I'm just going to put a little bit more on little bit of lash glue and then just pinch the tip make it tacky and I'm going to speed this part up because it's probably going to take about a half an hour um, but I'm going to keep it in and I'm just placing the rhinestones where we put that lash glue now
this is what it looks like so far. I am obsessed. I'm actually going to go film a video with the NYX Bear With Me Skin Tint and the Hydrating Jelly Primer. So that is what I'm going to do with my face. Keep an eye out for that video and then I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and finished up my face and I just finished this side over here. So we are going to do this one together. I'm going to start by going into Attic. And I'm just buffing that closest to the lash line. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in with Rouge. And last but not least, we're going to go in with Baby Doll. You know what? I really like that, but I'm going to go in with a little bit more rouge on both sides. I want to keep that just a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, I am going to pop on a lash really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is the finished look. The lashes are from LB Cosmetics in the style Fill Trip, and I will keep all of my, or I will link all of my face stuff um, in the description for you guys. And oh, I am honestly obsessed with the way this turned out. So let's talk about the Dollhouse palette for a second. I did have a lot easier time blending it today than I did yesterday. Um, I did not use this row right here, which is the row that I really find very, very difficult to blend. So the rest of it was a lot easier. I'm going to play around with it a few more times because I just don't want to call it quits on this palette yet. But let me just show you, let me show you the, I don't like saying like fully negative things about it. So let me show you the phenomenal part of it. These shimmers. I've never seen a prettier shimmer in my entire lifetime. These are it. I mean, they're so foiled and so beautiful and every single shimmer in the entire palette is like that and there are 10 of them so am I saying that you should buy it just for the shimmers no but like if you wanted to you would not be disappointed also am I saying that it's not possible that I just got a bad palette it is completely possible that I have just gotten a bad palette and mine is just a little bit more difficult I know that happens um and like I said with the exception of the second to last shade or the second to last row I'm not having a super difficult problem with it outside of that so do I think the palette is worth it I still want to say I want to say yes, but I don't really know. I guess that's really up to you to decide. The shimmers are really good. A lot of the mattes are really good. I do find it to be like the tiniest bit ashy. So I don't know. I can't really say. I don't really regret buying it, but I don't think that it is going to be like a palette that I reach for like my Surge or my Blends palette, if that makes sense. <laughs> but that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and leave me a comment down below letting me know, do you have this palette? Are you having a difficult time with it? What are your opinions? Because I want to know them, the good and the bad. I want to hear positive things too. So let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!